the cheapest price on the website. Instant delivery. Secure and trusted. Y'all know what it says on the screen. And what does that say? Customer care. Use my code goof for 50% off all your orders. I don't care if I don't care if you say blah 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 is better. Alright, blah 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 is better. Uh, 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 one cent per mil. Oh, oh zero dollar free 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 million. Alright, I don't care. It's still better. Because I said so. So check them out. Link in the description. It's Lee. Yo! What's good everybody? It's your boy Goofball Gaming back again with another video. And today we got a special video for you guys. Now, a lot of you guys have been requesting this from me. I'm going to follow up my last sniping filters and coin making method video, which you can actually find in the link in the description. I'm going to I'm just going to put it as the previous video since a lot of you guys are wondering how I made all of this coinage right here. But I'm going to be teaching uh, beginners how to snipe and how sniping works. And then at the end of this video, I will be revealing my money filter. All right. I gave away a couple filters uh, last video and they worked for me very well at the start. Now they're still working, but they're my secondary filter. I use one really main filter right now and it's been working so well for me. And I have proof of that. So for all the people who say I bought, I bought coins or Magic Mutt gave me coins, none of that happened. You guys can go ask him on, on Instagram where you can follow him at Magic Mutt. Follow me on Instagram at Goofball gaming but guys make sure if you guys need some coins and you guys you know sniping doesn't really work out for you or anything like that and you got some uh change in your pocket make sure y'all go hit up magicmutt.com use my code goof for a nice little 15 percent discount off all your orders all right but without further ado let's get straight into this video all right so last video i talked about a pro pack method now today it's just gonna be all about sniping none no, nothing to do with sets uh nothing to do with the store if you guys uh or live events if you guys though want me to do a video on those ways to make coins let me know in the comments down below and i can teach you guys how you can make coins from live events uh sets and and from the store all right but today is strictly on the auction house and how we can make coins so first of all you got to look at everything here all right sniping basically how it works is let's say um i was sniping for this david johnson right here this first card all right let's say i was sniping for him what i would want to do is maybe he goes for 4k here i will want to snipe him for 2k so i could relist him up for 4k basically it's a concept of buy low and sell high all right that's basically what we're trying to get at now there are certain filters you can use to help you increase the chance of buying a cheap player and selling them for a high price all right so we can always use programs but at the moment you know there's only two programs so that doesn't really help i mean you could snipe those 24 7 players i have sniped one actually that's been really 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 working well for, for me well at least at the moment but this teams you're gonna have to use this and you're gonna have to use the positions all right because some positions are worth less than others all right so let's just take a look at 78s okay uh let's take a look at 78s and let's take a look at qbs and tight ends qbs and tight ends if you guys look at the average price right here uh let's just go uh max buy now 10k all right you're gonna see a uh you know what let's go 8k since there's a ton of 8ks as well just to make it seem like you know look at all this all right there's a ton of uh quarterbacks on the auction house right now that go below 8k but if you go every other position other than the quarterback and the tight end let's just see how many are below 8k that's right none so basically all of them are bought so you could kind of use that to your advantage instead of scrolling past all these tight ends and qbs uh like this and then sniping at the end which will uh waste you some time you could just straight up take out the quarterback take out the tight end and now you have a better filter all right so there's step one into how to making a how to make a filter step two you always want to get a minimum rating um i'm gonna get into that later because it has something to do with my money filter uh step three you want to look at the teams of the players all right so let's say i let's say i go up to 10k here all right Let's say I go up to 10k. So we see all these players right here, and we see that there's Bears, we see that there's Buccaneers, we see that there's Falcons, Jets, all this stuff, right? Uh, and let's say we don't really want these teams. So what I would do is I'd select all the teams here, and I would filter out the teams that I didn't want. For example, if I did not want the Jets, see I've selected all the teams. I will take out the Jets, and now there's no Jets players. Bears, out. Well, I want to filter out the Bears, right? So now there's no Bears players, right? Uh, Bucks, right? Bucks, Falcons. And then you just keep going until you get to a point where it's all items sold right here. So that McDaniel, I could actually snipe him up for something, maybe. 
Um, I'm just gonna take him. I'm gonna take a chance on it because I have two million coins right now. So I really, I don't really have anything to lose. If if he doesn't go for that much, I'll just sell him for really high and hope for someone buys him. Oh, he actually goes for 13k. So I actually made a good 3k right there. Let me just list him up right now. Uh, so there. We could make profit like that, all right? Okay, guys, so I'm going to explain how the auction house works. So basically, there are times on the clock. So as you can see in my top right corner, it is 10.49 a.m. right now. So if you think of that, 10.49, let's say the round just dropped, okay? The round just dropped at 49, okay? Each round drops every five minutes. Now, what does that mean? That means that a new set of players refresh onto the auction house after five minutes of each time when they drop so let's uh let's just take uh 1049 as an example the next round that would drop would be 1054 because if you add five minutes to that it would be nine and four nine and four the difference from Madden mobile 15 to Madden mobile 18 is Madden mobile 15 it was always five and zero five and zero that was always when the rounds drop now it could be one and six so 51 and 56 uh, let's say 1052 or 50, 1057, uh, 1053, 1058, 1054, 1059, or 1055, and an 11. Okay, so there are the differences. It always increases by a couple seconds. Um, so you got to be alert on that. So when you're around at that time, you should probably start refreshing just in case the round actually drops. So the round just dropped right here. I'm going to snag up this Fowler. Um... I'm going to see if there's anything else worth snagging up. I'm going to snag up this. Oh, no, wrong player. I wanted to snag up this Fleming. He's probably gone now. Oh, we actually got him. Uh, let's see. What else is there? Uh, let's snag up this Kevin Johnson. So, yeah. Uh, there you go. We sniped three players. I'll sell them a bit later because I know I'm going to make profit on those three. But now, since you guys know how the auction house works. Oh, my goodness. There, that Leonard Fournette would have been nice. But... Now we want to uh, make your up your own filter. I just taught you guys how to make the rating, the team, the position. So make sure when you guys are at home sniping on your own, make sure you find the right filter that's good for you. Because I shared a filter last video and a ton of people saying it worked really well. And a ton of people saying it, it didn't work well for them. Why? Because it was my own filter and I was being creative with it. I incorporated teams. I incorporated positions. Uh, I, I uh, toggled the price. Um... You know, obviously you could go only gold players or you can see elite players as well. I like to go only gold players just because I have fat fingers and I know I'm not going to get an elite player. So I might as well, you know, don't take that chance. And then, you know, I messed with the rating. All right. All right, guys. So this is the reveal for the most money filter on Man and Mobile right now. Literally, uh, the game has come out for three days and I'm on track to make almost a mil per day on this game. all right that's how good this filter has been to me obviously i've used the other filter at the start of the game that i showed you guys last video and it really it worked really really well it still does that filter could still possibly earn you 500k a day but this one i guarantee you will earn more all right so this, are you i don't think you guys are ready This is, a, this is the money filter. This is the hella money filter. This is the one filter that you will use for a very, very long time until they release new programs. All right. Here we go. So this is the filter right here. All right. These are the teams you want to select. Uh, the Broncos. I, I, you know, I'm, I'm not going to run down all the teams because that's, gonna, that's just going to take a very, very long time. But you guys see the teams right there. Uh, make sure you guys screenshot that or something. Take out uh, all the positions except for tight end, quarterback, fullback, and defensive end. Uh, you want to go minimum 79 and you want to go 13k now obviously oh my goodness the round just dropped and we're gonna pick up this dominique easily uh that thomas rawls would have been really nice now as you get to know this filter a little bit more you will know that which players go for a lot and which players don't all right you know what this fleming might actually go for a bit because as you guys saw um a couple minutes ago i actually got a fleming so if i snipe this fleming for 12k right there that's gonna make me a good bit of cash right there because as you guys can see, Fleming actually goes for 20k. So we're going to list our both of our Flemings up for 20k. So there was a live snipe for you guys. I probably made around, mm, I'd say around probably 18k right there both on both of the Flemings. And then we're going to see how much easily goes for. I actually haven't sniped it easily today yet. So he goes for 18. So we probably made around 6k on that easily right there. So yeah, guys, there's the filter that I've been using that's been making me coins. Um, let me know if it works or not. I can 
almost guarantee you it works and just just for proof that it actually works these are all the players that I have sold this morning. You know what? I'm gonna go into the other screen just to show you a bit better, a uh, better, better idea of what I've been doing. So here we go. This bro sells for 20k. Uh, Hubbard sells for 21k. Uh, I bought all these players for 13k or less, guys. So these all sell for 13k. Uh, Jermaine Curses. I always buy Jermaine Curses for 10k or under because he get, tends to go for a bit lower. Uh, Martavius bought him for nine. Uh, Kareem Jackson. I think I bought him for 11. So that wasn't really that much. Uh, Brian Poole, he sold. I'm surprised this Alex Boone sold. Uh, Doug Martin and Martavius Bryant. So as you guys can see there, I made around 300k just now. So uh, here are all the rest of the uh, players that I've been selling. Uh, as you can see, they're all 79. I actually got this John Jerry, who actually sells for 100k on the market. So I listed him for 50 just to see, you know, if anyone will buy him. Uh, so make sure you guys go off on this filter right now. It's the best one in the game, in my opinion, unless you guys are re really, really fast or you guys have bots or anything like that. Make sure you guys go snipe elite players and all that stuff. But I don't want to get banned because I don't want to. I just don't want to take the risk. I've never bought it before. I can't. I can't even bought. Let's be honest, guys. Like I don't. I, I'm too stupid to know how to bought. All right. But if you guys enjoy this video, man, make sure you guys leave a like. Make sure you guys subscribe if you guys are new to the channel. The support recently has been awesome. Thank you guys so much for watching. Check out Magic Mutt. Use my code Goof for 15% off all your orders. And the Goof is out. Peace.